Uh, first off, though, I'm going to put peaches in where... No, not that one. This one. I'm going to put peaches where Boomer is. I love you, Boomer, but unfortunately, I need you to not be here. Our next order of business is... Adelaide. Alright. Grace. Shit, they're really laying it on me. What? It's another cougar. Taking hits. Can you use some help? It's a fucking cougar. Kill a cougar. But yes, I have been blessed. Don't quite know what that means, but hey. Nice to take a breather. Damn it! Gotta move! No, no, we're fine. Question mark? Damn it! Help me! Hit the gas! Contact! <laughs> cultists! Yeah, I know. We're heading elsewhere though, so cultists aren't our concern anymore. At least not at the moment. We have moose in the area, that's good to know. I think they're dead. I think. I can't be too sure, to be honest. I did hear a nice meaty splat. That's about it. Kicking their asses. Alright, we're nearly there. Not sure what to expect when we get here, but hey. Some of us thought we could get away from this place on the water, but when we got close to the marina, we saw the cult. They got the river locked down tight. Good luck. Question, is that where I'm going? Yeah, it is. And yes, I saw her there. I'm about to get some trippy fucking uh, drug scenes like I'm used to in the other games.
Good job, Peaches. Gotcha, bitch! Did you see him flop over the fence then? Oh, look at this! Oh, we saved her! I getting all druggy there's this giant albino fish that swims around the marina locals call him Ragnar the terrible people have been trying to catch old Ragnar for ages but he's damn stubborn he likes to hang out by that little island over yonder it'd be good for morale if someone finally caught him I think you might have what it takes uh, cheers Drubman, pleased to make your acquaintance. Appreciate all your help getting my marina back, but honey, I got a problem. Those Peggy shipbirds stole my tulip. She's the nimblest goddamn helicopter this side of Montana, and I'll be goddamned if those fuck trumpets are gonna take her from me. I won that bird in my divorce fair and square. The walking erectile dysfunction who took her painted her that awful shade of Peggy mayonnaise. So the only way you'll be able to find her is to ID the pilot. Should be easy to spot him. The only other birds around the area are flown by women. Suffering we all used to fly together on weekends, but that friendship went tits up after those thunder cunts joined Eden's <laughs> gate. So I got no problem if you accidentally shoot them in their disloyal faces. How about it, honey? You help me, and Tulip and I'll show up wherever and whenever you need us. Sure thing. Uh, all the way over there. Who the hell are you? You know, I feel like if the seeds just embraced a balanced, nutritious diet, then they wouldn't be the fucked up psychos that they are, man. What you eat affects your brain compartments and departments, you know? Just look at me, I'm a normal dude. A healthy body is a healthy mind. If you say so. Damn. Damn. Something is causing me to hallucinate. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess I'm off to go say hello to Faith. Welcome to the bliss. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, what? This isn't where I expected it to go. I know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. 
a manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her task. In her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Oh, what now? Walk the path. What the fuck? You must have faith. Let go. Okay. This was an unintended turnaround. Fuck. Oh shit. Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest. But we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path. I'll see you soon. Um. Okay. Well, we were told to stay away from these things, so I'm gonna burn them. Assuming they burn. If not, then... Here we go. There we go! They just caught. Let's go observe this from above. Look at this. Yeah, boy. Set these things on fire. 
Anyway, guys. We were off to find a helicopter. We were gonna go find a helicopter, but now... Actually... Okay, we can go do that. We can go get our helicopter, uh, helicopter check. Then we'll head north to the lumber mill. But for now, guys, this is it. And as we watch those lovely orchids stop burning, let's chuck another one in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And as we watch or listen to those orchids burn, I am the Argent Defender. This has been Far Cry 5, and I will see you next time. Bye.